The all clear for more regions in the province to enter stage two of the reopening plan. Stage two of the reopening plan. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Ali Bakes. I'm Eliza Saw, and today I've got a video that's a little bit different from my regular content. I just was able to see my fiance after about three months, and he planned this whole staycation where we basically go on vacation but at home. I just wanted to show you what Toronto was like in phase two of lockdown. I also wanted to record our reunification because I just felt like it was a very special moment for me and so yeah this video is just gonna be about us being tourists in our own city post phase two he should be here any second and i've got a lot to pack there he is reunited and so we walked all the way up to our hotel. <laughs> From there we made plans to go to La Carnita, which is like a taco spot. And we got to see some of our friends who are actually a PSW and a nurse. They got tested, they're both negative, and... Oh, my thumb, I'm sorry. <laughs> We've gotten to the point that they didn't even have any COVID-19 patients in their ICU unit anymore. So, like, it just felt like a sigh of relief to be able to hang out with them again. And we're just gonna chill for the rest of the night. Yeah. And then tomorrow we're gonna go to um, the Brooklyn Bridge. What? And that was kind of the end of our night. So bright and early. So we've got our coffee, we've got our picnic bag, and we're gonna go over to Center Island and just have a picnic. Stopping for drinks. We're gonna model in away. <laughs> it's our pit stop. So if you're going to break in docks, be prepared to have a lot of band-aids. So Cedric planned for us to go to Center Island. The ferries had just opened back up. Entering it was kind of packed. Uh, we made sure to have our masks on the whole time. We made sure to stay a little bit further away from everyone in line, but once you get on the ferry, it's kind of hard to avoid people. So we just made sure our masks were on, that we were sanitizing after touching surfaces. This couple is so cute. <laughs> one of the crew members. Enjoy your trip. First stop, we're gonna go to the Toronto Island Barbecue and Beer Co. And it is right off the ferry. So we are now at Center Island. We just got day off. One. Oh yeah, is it day one? Two. Well, technically day two because we arrived at the hotel yesterday. Last but night. last night, yeah. And that is the ferry that we just got off of. And this is where we're going to eat our lunch. I heard they have pulled pork brisket mac and cheese and we obviously all wore masks on the ferry because you know close contact a lot of people when they take pictures they're just like blindly like bumping into everybody and it's just a little crazy on there what do you think out of 10 is it juicy like a seven, like a seven. I want to try. Ten. Ten. 
It's smoky. It's very smoky. Juicy, it's like kind of fatty in a good way. I'm gonna say like... <laughs> I'm gonna also say a seven because I like it when it's saucy. <laughs> yeah. Creamy, cheesy, tender, a little crisp on the top. I love mac and cheese. Sorry, I almost stepped on you. It's actually very refreshing right here. Yeah, it's breezy. So we found a spot to just like lay out our picnic blankets as you can see now we're just relaxing we've got a few hours to kill before dinner we're just gonna enjoy the weather we're sitting in a little patch of shade we found like the only patch of green grass around everything is getting scorched everything yeah everything is pretty like dry <laughs> and crunchy <laughs> cedric's feet are hurting a bit that's what happens when you gotta break in shoes Who's that? <laughs> uh, so I'm having a photo shoot right now while we're just relaxing in the park. This is my point of view. Awesome tripod. It's called the Cedric 280. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. <laughs> so we just took a bunch of photos. Now it's time to head back for dinner. It's a surprise. I don't know where we're eating dinner. This is like the first time Cedric surprised me. <laughs> You're not gonna like it. I'm not gonna like it? We're gonna eat on a park bench. Really? Yeah. Isn't that normal? We're having pizza pizza. Are we really? No. Alright, let's go. We have 18 minutes to get to the ferry and... <laughs> We're not walking very fast. <laughs> <laughs> Then we walked along waterfront and basically went towards this restaurant called Against the Grain. And it's right by Sugar Beach. And Sugar Beach is Toronto's man-made beach, which is located right next to Red Path, the sugar factory, which is why the beach is called Sugar Beach. You can hold it if it's easier. <laughs> so much ice. That's good. Good for now. We just had dinner at Against the Grain. Yeah. We're full, we had calamari and shrimp and chips. Wait. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. <laughs> shrimp and chips. I'm very full. That sounds like it'd be a sort of sick dish though. <laughs> yeah. And there's the sun. How are you feeling? Sorry, what was that? We're gonna go to Harborfront, then we're going to get some snacks, head to early dinner, even though it's already in the afternoon. And yeah. May lobby. <laughs> so 
Eliza's the one who packed our toothbrushes, right? So last night I was like, is my toothbrush the green or the orange? And Eliza's like, yours is not, not the orange. Not the orange one. I'm like, I thought mine was the orange one. It looked like she was about to cry. <laughs> Cedric pretended to use my toothbrush. It's so freaking gross. And I'm just like, Cedric, why would you use my toothbrush? And I'm like, it's okay, it's not that gross. <laughs> it's pretty gross. Leave pretty a comment gross. if you think that's gross. It's pretty gross. Yeah. No need to comment that. That's <laughs> One scoop mango and then one scoop raspberry lime. Thank you. Look at your scoop. Yeah. It's exactly like a mango lassi but frozen. Nice. I know you like mango lassi. Mm -hmm. We're adults, so we get ice cream for breakfast. This is our first meal at what time is it? And <laughs> it's the afternoon. <laughs> but I figured this one has mango, it's got yogurt, it's basically breakfast. Cedric's just having some sorbetos and it's really good it's really hot it's perfect for today so and we're here by the harbor front center it's actually pretty crowded it's actually canada day today so there's a bunch of people out but we found a nice shade spot and like the bench we're just gonna enjoy our food and then i don't know walk around what's on our itinerary yeah walk around pretty much walk around here that's it and then uh, have an early like lunch dinner thing yeah can I try the mango one? Okay, that's both. Mm. You like it? They're good together. Yeah. Like you and me. Yeah. Okay. Eliza's about to do some crazy stuff that only I know Eliza can do. No, a lot of people can do this. Alright, do it now. Oh! We're still in air conditioning. We need um, a pass to get in, so we just stood by the doors for a bit. So. Yep. I can't even. Can you have, can you see the sign? Yeah. Happy Canada Day. <laughs> oh, it's a video. Yes. Oh. It's <laughs> We're at another patch of shade. This cute little park in between all these i guess condos and it's literally right by the cn tower we got starbucks got the iced guava what iced black guava, tea black lemonade. lemonade that's a lot of stuff in there it's really good cedric's leading me to the secret restaurant that he booked for dinner and i have absolutely no idea what it is So Cedric surprised me by taking me to the porch and apparently the cover fee is 25 per person but with it you get a bucket with watermelon, beer, sunblock and falafel. It's nice, it's not crowded. Everyone's six feet apart. We're on vacation in our own city. Staycation. Cheers. CN Tower's behind me. You need to drink a lot of water because I've seen this before. What do you mean? Look, I'm like red. <laughs> we took a little bit of a nap, <laughs> but now we're gonna have dinner just here in the hotel because pretty much everything's closed for Canada Day, and I got my mask ready. 
What you waiting for, Sid? I'm looking for which socks will destroy my feet the least. Oh, and his feet are still hurting. <laughs> So we just ordered some Thai food on Uber Eats and then we're just gonna eat it up here. Keep you updated. <laughs> more than I thought. Way more than I thought. <laughs> so how fast was the food? The guy literally did a drive by. It's me, he's like, you know, come down. I come down, no one's there. And I see a car like racing down the street. He like pulls up in front of me. He's like, yo, you're waiting for food? He's like, yeah. He's like, Thai food? He's like, yeah, what's your name? Cedric, here, take this. <laughs> Here's the green curry, fresh rolls, samosas, the rice, and a Thai. Mm. It's so grainy because the lighting is so bad, but look at the egg it came with. I'm gonna try. Bomb. Let me feed you. <laughs> trying to steal my chopsticks too. <laughs> Duh. It's so good, right? Yeah. I just got that. Yeah, I'm gonna take a big bite of pad thai. It's so good. I feel like there's like extra spices that are, aren't usually there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It tastes a lot different. It's a different flavor profile. Mm -hmm. You want okay. something? Yeah, I want to try the curry. It's okay. <laughs> I can hold it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's good. You like it? It's not as spicy as it usually is, like at other places. Yeah, it's not as spicy. But it's still good. I like okay. it. So, we are all packed up. I'm just finishing up some of last night's pad thai. So, that was pretty much everything that we did in Toronto post-COVID lockdown-ish. It's not fully open, but like phase two. And yeah, so as you can see, a lot of stuff is still closed. We wear our masks. You gotta keep your distance from other people. Usually this is the part of the trip where I'm like sad because I'm leaving a place. But since this is home, I'm not that sad. I'm just like, oh, okay, time to go home. We'll be yeah. back soon. <laughs> yeah. I showed all the food that I ate, but don't forget, I wasn't trying to hit up every single restaurant downtown because there is a pandemic still going down. So we only went out when necessary, basically. I hope you liked that video regardless. And yeah, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I do food and baking related videos every single week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next week. Bye.